Hi. Thank you for joining me today for Fitness Sing. Kia, I see you. Julie Maya Panda, thank you for being here. Um, and someone else I see. Thank you for coming today. Uh, hi, it says Marion T. Yep. Hi. <laughs> All right, so thank you for joining us. Today, um, we're going to be focusing on thinking about moving our voice. So, you know, our body is our instrument. Our body, our voice is in our body. Our body is our instrument. And we wanna move our voice. So if we're moving our voice, we are moving therefore our body, we're moving our psyche, we're moving our intellect, like all of it. We're moving all of ourselves. And um, we're gonna do a little something different today if you've been with me before. I haven't used any kind of um, athletic props or anything like that, but today you don't have to have any equipment, but today I'm just gonna up the ante for myself. I have a GoFit resistance band. I'm gonna use the medium one today. And also if you have a straw in your house, we have reusable straws here, the silicone reusable straws. Um, so. We're gonna use a straw. We're gonna use, if you have a resistance band, get a resistance band, and then we're gonna use our body, ourselves. So let's start out with a little bit of vocal work. Anybody need time to get a straw? We're good? All right, let's see if I can see everybody here. Okay, thanks for joining us, Delton. All right, so forget the straw for a second. All right, so here we are, and we're going to sing in thirds. So, and I want you to use the NG. So NG, like you were saying, hung, like I hung up my coat. The NG, the soft palate comes up, and the tongue comes up to the soft palate. And it gives us this slightly resonant, um, slight, it's not nasal, it's not like a mm, it's not that far forward. It's higher, but it's also a nasal sound. Mm. All right, so we're going to do thirds like this. And then go back down to the first note. So it's mm. All right. So you wanna make sure that you don't close down the mouth too much because it might be hard to keep that NG sound. Let's do that again. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. All right, and here we go. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us, Sharina, all the way from Michigan. All right. And we're going up one more, still moving in thirds. The NG sound is what we're making. So it's like, hmm, as if I hung, hung, hung up my coat. And we are here. So the pattern is, hmm. All right, let's do that together. Ready and and up, here we go. So as we get higher, you might start to feel a little like itchy, buzzy, tingly here, and that's a good sign. That means you are capitalizing on the resonance capacity here in the sinus cavities. And Let's just say, if you have a little congestion, this is actually a good exercise, a vocal exercise that can help to break up some of that congestion. All right, let's keep going. And Good, I can hear someone. And now here we go, who's that on my hearing? 
I don't know. It sounds good. I think that's hard. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. And as you're moving from one note to the next, you want to feel connection. Like you never want to feel like one note is disconnected from the other. They're very much connected. Even though we're doing a leap of a third, those notes are still connected. It's just like between zero and one, you know, there is infinity. So it's that same concept from one note to even the very next half step or quarter step. There's still all of this, uh, all of these sound places that we can navigate. Um, and so here we go. We are, let's do this one again. Uh, for me, I'm starting to go into my mix, I'm somewhat into my head voice. And so the sound quality may change for you as we go higher and that's okay because that means you're moving into your head voice. Here we go. is when you go from an NG to just opening up, I don't want you to change anything else, but I just want you to open up to the off vowel. Think of ah as an A-W. So it'll be like this. You're gonna go. I don't know what it sounds like to you, um, but let me, maybe I'll step back a little bit, but it's like this. So when you open up, if you're just, you just open to the vowel, don't change anything about the way the breath is moving in your body, just open up to the vowel. And I want you to tell me what kind of sound you hear and is it what you expected to hear? All right, we have a couple of people waiting. Let me let them in. Yes, yes, thank you for joining us, Amber and Winnie. All right, here we go. Ready to try this one? Uh, you're here. So what we're doing is we are singing an NG sound at the beginning. So like that. And we're going to go. The pattern is this. That's the pattern. But we're singing it on an NG. So just because we have a couple of people who just joined us, let's everybody sing that one more time. Thank you. Here we go. So as we go higher, you'll start to feel ooh, lights, lights, brightness, flaming, sound beams coming right here, and that's good. All right, now we're going to transition to opening up to a vowel, but I want you to use the NG as a way to bring a lot of resonance into your voice, all right? And let's see what happens when we open up to the vowel. So I'll demonstrate one more time. Let's try it together. Ready and. All right, somebody report to me. Tell me, what did you feel? What did you hear? I see a face here. What was that? <laughs> Anybody want to report what you felt, what you heard? You I make... heard I never got a singing contract. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, so when we open up, sometimes if we are using that NG and we're really benefiting from that uh, resonance capacity that we can create there, the sound sometimes can be a little surprising, like, whoa, I'm not actually doing very much. And then this sound comes out kind of like booming right out of your body. And that's because when we do exercises like this, we are actually maximizing the PA system that we were given, that the creator just dropped into our bodies. We have a PA system, like all the PV and all that, they're just copying what was already created. So here we go, let's try it again. Um, this time we'll go up a little higher. 
Hi, just a second, please. Yeah, Winnie. I'm having trouble hearing. Um, I'm not sure what you said about the. Well, I came in a few minutes late. Sure. So would you repeat what is the Angie? Angie? Oh, yes, yes, yes. So N G as in hung. I hung up my coat. And so if we sing on that NG, and I do like this because this is what it feels like to me. It feels like I'm just like hooking into this soft palate area. Right, we can make sirens like that. <laughs> so we're actually using that to sing, to do a vocalise. And it allows us to bring resonance into our voice to capitalize on the way the breath spins here in the sinus cavities. So let's just, um, with Winnie, we're going to sing a couple of them with just the NG not opening up to a vowel. So let's go here. All right, ready? <laughs> Another. Now, let's try opening up to the vowel. This time, we're going to try opening up. So when we get to the second note, when we get to that second note, we're going to stay on it a little longer because we're going to sing NG on the first and second note. And then while we're on that second note, we're going to open up to the vowel. So. All right, here we go. Ready and. Let's do that one again. We're going to do it this time. We're going to go a little lower. Ready? Ooh, here we go. And if you just opened up to the vowel, you didn't do anything in your throat, like, okay, now I'm going to sing. So I'm going to close the throat or squeeze the sound out or push. We don't do anything. We just open to the vowel and the sound is there flickering and flying for us. All right. So can I, I see, and let's see in the chat room, it looks like a couple of people said something. Um, you felt different vibrations. Uh-huh. <laughs> Cute. I love it. All right. So um, now with that whole idea of using the NG to access a certain resonance and then letting the voice fly, let's do we're going to go back down. All right, so we're going to go. I feel like that's way too big for you. Let's see. Let's do, you know what? I shouldn't sing an octave higher. I should sing. Sorry, let's go down low. Here. Here we go. Ready? And. And as you're going down, you're not changing anything, keeping the throat open. You might, as so I'm a soprano, a, a lighter soprano voice. And so as I start to go down in this particular key, I feel myself going out of my head into my mix and then into my chest. So as I go into my chest voice, I have to lighten up. Otherwise, I'll just splat. I'll go. And it may go flat. You know, I'm just bringing way too much pressure. So as we descend, we lighten up, we lighten up, we lighten up. And then when I'm actually there in my chest voice, then I can allow the sound to blossom some. But if I go pounce on it, it's not going to be so good. All right, so let's do that again. All right, let's go up one more. This is the whole step up. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
Yes? How are we feeling? So are we finding any continuity of sound from the top to the bottom, bottom to the top? And so great, great, Winnie. And that's something that this exercise is also good for when you find that resonance space and you just want to like travel with that resonance no matter where you are, right? And so our voice isn't going all of that, but we just have this nice continuity of sound. Excellent. So let's get our physical bodies moving. We've been moving the voice, right? Now let's move the body too. All right, let's stand up. We're gonna take some deep breaths first. All right, here we are. Inhale. Give me two more of those. This is awesome. Yay. <laughs> Good. I'm gonna do the last one with you. All right, so we're just gonna get the body lightly moving. Right, we're gonna do high knees, but I don't want you to like go super fast where you like you're sprinting, right? We're just a light high knees. Ready, 20 high knees, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Again, ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, 10, 15, 16. Hello, body. We love you. Let's inhale. And last time, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, let's shake, 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 shake. We're going to take three deep breaths again. Just as a way to get our breath back under control. Nice deep one. Let's give a squat when we do this one. And all right. We're going to do lateral jumps now. We're doing jumping kinds of motions to get our heart rate up. And then we'll settle it back down and bring it back up. So for the first one, I think I need to make you be able to see my feet a little better. Lateral jumps, just. All right, so we're gonna do 20 lateral jumps. Here we go. One, two, three. 11, 12. 18, 19, 20. I love these. Let's do it again. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Now, this last one, I want you to give me the widest or farthest jump that you can make, right? So we're really challenging the body now. It's not about Speed, it's about powering up and over. All right, let's see, let make you a little different angle here. So if I'm trying to jump from this side of my mat to the other side, right, power. All right, here we go, 20, here we go. One, two, three, four, stay with me. that work. Let's keep it going. All right, we're going to take a minute to get our breathing back under control. Let's go to our 
Inhales, here we go. Again. And one more. All right, our bodies are definitely getting warm. Yes, 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 thank you, Mr. Producer for reminding us, yes, yes, yes. I didn't talk about modifications. So on those lateral things, you can always step. Have a slight squat, step, 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 step. Lateral step and always keeping the leg that's staying still Keep your weight in the heels of your feet. Don't let your knee go over your toe, right? You can get into injury that way. All right, thank you, Mr. Producer. <sighs> Good. Okay, we're gonna do a little more singing. And the thing that I love about using my body in this kind of physical way, while I'm also doing some work with the voice, is that all this blood flow that's happening in our bodies is going to our vocal cords too. And the vocal cords are like, hmm, oh, this is so nice. And you'll start to see that there's a certain um, energy and vibrancy and freedom that can come to the voice when you're activating the um, vocal cords in this way. All right, so if you have a straw, so I was saying we're gonna do a little straw work today. If you have a straw, you can grab your straw now if you don't have a straw, you can use your mouth as a valve. Your lips like this. So I like to give singers exercises that they can use to really do a great job of warming up the voice, but not expend a ton of vocal energy, right? So when we're warming up, it's not like, now I'm trying to go sing for the Grammys or I'm going to audition for American Idol. It's not that kind of singing, at least not yet. Right now we are just saying to the body, hello, voice, we want you to do this. We want you to come together in alignment. We want there to be life and vibrancy on the voice. We want the, um, the resonance capacity to be maximized. So this exercise is a great voice saver. You can sing an entire song through a straw. All right. So if we all know twinkle, twinkle, little star, we can, or it's the same thing as A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So same melody, right? We're gonna do it through the straw. And let's do it in, oh. Yeah, I was already in B flat, here we go. So one, two, ready, and. And you may need a napkin because there will be condensation at the end of your straw when we work. Okay, so what we are doing right now is we're just really concentrating our stream of breath into the straw and it's giving us some natural or some, some created resistance, right? So with that resistance, one of the things that we can monitor is our breath flow. So I just wanted you first to see like you can actually do it, you can sing through the straw. Now I want you to think about your breath flow. So our breath can go constantly. It can go in a, in a um, like kind of a, I'll say a jagged pattern, right? <laughs> and it may sound silly, but a lot of us, we do it when we're singing, we have these stops and starts. And we wanna to start to monitor, are we stopping our breath? If we're stopping our breath, we wanna know where we're stopping our breath and why. All right, so we're going to do just the first Two phrases, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are, just that part. Through the straw, you know, you're just singing nondescript vowel sound through here. 
And I want you to pay really close attention to, is your breath flow constant? And you can put your hand here in front of the straw to monitor that. All right, here we go. Um, and I'll take it a little faster because. So one, two, ready, here we go. All right, tell me what you found. You can talk or chat it. Do we have constant breath flow? Constant? Wow, you are you impressive. Know? Who said that? Let's say it again, I'm sorry. I, I thought somebody said something. Oh, um, my, I have a question. This is Holly. Yes. So when you get to like the pause at the end of a phrase, mm -hmm. is it okay for then the breath to stop for a moment? Or is it yeah. supposed to keep going? So yeah, at the end of the phrase, let's say, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Uh -huh. right. right. And so then maybe in your body, you want to breathe there. So you yes. stop the breath, breathe in, and then exhale to sing. That's correct. Thank you. Yes. Uh -huh, you're welcome. Any other questions or um, observations? So... When we are, are singing through the straw, again, I want you to really monitor. Now, since you all are so good, let's just go through the whole thing. And I wanna see if we're holding our breath at all or stopping the breath or having to start, stop, start, stop kind of thing. Here we go. So one, two, ready. Any feedback? Okay, Julie Maya Panda says, great. She's doing great. She's all consistent. Ah, amen. <laughs> all right. Um, so I wanna tell you something that I noticed about myself, right? So this isn't the first time that I've sung through a straw, but when I am singing and I'm actually thinking about words, I find that I have these little like minute stops because I'm, I'm articulating the consonants in my mind. So there are these little blips and then I reminded myself, oh, don't worry about words, stay on the vowel. So when we're you know, studying singing, studying the voice, one of the things we really work on is learning how to stay on the vowel even when you have these consonants that come in, the consonants should not interrupt the breath flow in such a way that it stops the voice, right? So I was going twinkle. So every time I had the T in my mind, there was like this little stoppage, right? But so then I reminded myself, stay on the vowel. So it's more like, now let's try this. It's more like, so what I'm doing now is I'm taking all the consonants off of the entire song and singing only on the vowels. All right, so let's see if we can do that. All right, we'll take, <laughs> we can start with the first two phrases if that goes well, and we'll keep going. Here we go. One, two, ready, and. Right there, twinkle, twinkle with no, no consonants. <laughs> I'm looking around. I'm, I'm scared. Yes. Okay. Wait, I saw, I saw someone. Yes. Um, Amber, I'm unmuting you. Go ahead. Yeah. 
done that before? Never. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wouldn't know. That was really, really great. And what I loved about the way that you just sang was your voice was just really open, right? I didn't feel at all that you were like, okay, I'm singing now. <clears throat> and we hold, right? I'm singing. And we just like squashed the voice. You just, you were open. Um, and then also your uh, ability to sing long phrases was quite impressive. I'm wondering, are you a, like a long distance runner or are you a swimmer? Um, no, I'm a singer. You're a singer. Okay, there you go. <laughs> you are a singer. So that there you go. You, you're already, you're open and your voice is just like right there available to us. So thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Um, so these are exercises that you can continue on your own. I don't want us to leave without doing a little bit more body work. So I said I brought a resistance band today. So I have this GoFit medium uh, strength, uh, medium resistance band. And what I'm going to do is be very careful to put this above my knees and not on my knees. And if you don't have a band, it's okay because you will still get a little workout. We're all gonna get a little workout. All right, so first, First, we're just going to do micro steps. So I'm getting into squat position, but it's not a deep squat. Like I'm not going very far, right? It's a slight squat position. My knees are not going over my toes. I'm acting as if I'm sitting in a chair, right? So from my belly button up, I feel more erect. And my weight is in the heels of my feet. So I'm going to take little steps. I want to keep the tension on the band. Three this way, three that way. And keeping the tension on the band, you're gonna feel it in your glutes. You may feel it some in your uh, hams. Here we go. Ready, we'll do four. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a total of three steps. One and two and three and. Keep the tension on your band if you have one. One and. If you don't have a band, you're just doing the same motion. Woo! One and two and three and. I can't remember how many we just did. Three. And so let's do one more. <laughs> one and two and three and. I'm feeling it. One and two and three and. Woo! Now let's come up and hold. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze uh, quads, hands, calves. Compress, 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 and release. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. All right, I think you've got one more in you. Let's do it. Ready? Get that good squat position. Not too deep, right? Keep tension on your band if you have one, and one, and two, and three, and I'm moving a little faster. Two, and three, and that's one, and two, and three and one and two and three and that's two one and two and three and one and two and three and let's do one more one and two and three and one and two and three and compress hold it tighten Woo. tighten tight 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 and release Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Can I see a little sweat? I got a little sweat going on. <laughs> All right. This is good. Oh, 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 one other thing. Let's see what time it is. Um, actually, let's do our final song. Okay, so that's good work. We did small things with the body, but we engaged large muscle groups. <sighs> So good, very good. Get your breathing back under control. You can do some inhale, exhale. And um, in the chat room, you will find the words to a jazz standard called All of Me. And I thought, oh, it would be fun to sing something lots, you know, just light, all of me, why not take all of me? Um, you know, Frank Sinatra made a 
popular back in the day. I think Michael Buble may have re-recorded it uh, more recently, but tons of people have done it, right? It's a jazz standard. Um, and so I have, well, let's, how many of you know it already by show of hands? Let me go to the other. Okay, some of us know it a little bit. So, um, oh, you don't see it in the chat? Let's see. Um, yep. Okay, yeah, it's way at the top. And then thank you for um, putting it back down at the bottom, Bruce. Um, I mean, Brian. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, so the first line goes like this. We're going to do it in. I had a track, but I'd rather do it in F. All of me. Why not take all of me? So again, it's all of me. Why not take all of me? So that second line has a little bit of chromaticism from the first line, right? So one, two, all together, here we go. All of me. Why not take all of me? The next line says, can't you see? I'm no good without you. you. Yes, I hear somebody who knows it. <laughs> all right, so um, all really of me, why not take all of all me? All of me. Can't you Can't see? You see? Me? I'm no good without you. I'm no good without you. All right, so let's see if we can do that from the top. All one, two, ready. All of me, why not take all of me? This is our next note. Can't you see? I'm no good without you. And we can phrase that many different ways. I'll probably do it every time. The next one is take my lips. I want to lose them. Take my lips, and I'm simplifying the melody a little bit here. Take my lips, I want to lose them. The next phrase, take my arms, I'll never use them. All right, simplifying a little bit. All right, so let's see if we can go back to the beginning, sing it together. One, two, a one, two, ready. All of me, oh yeah. Why not take all of me? Oh, can't you see? I'm no good without you. Take, take my lips. I want to lose them. Oh, take my arms. I'll never use them. Then the next part where it says your goodbye, we go back to the same melody. So your goodbye left me with eyes that cry. And how can I get along without you? Now here's the change. You took the part that once was my heart so why not take all of me so i'll sing that like faster so you can just hear the melody a couple of times then so um, um you how can i go and do without you you took the part that once was my heart. So why not take all of me? All right, let's see if we can go back to the second verse where we say um, your goodbye. So one, two, a one, two, ready. Your goodbye left me with eyes that cry. Mm. How can I get along without you? You, you took the part that once was my heart. So why not take on me? So why not 
take all of me. Now let's go back to the top. We're gonna sing it all together and then we'll take some soloists if you want. <laughs> all right, back to the top, here we go. Now, oh, I should say, should we go think about some of the things we did in our exercises, right? So we always use exercises, those vocal leases, as a way to inform something about how we can use our voice in song, right? So when we're doing this in the jazz idiom, I was taking, I was taking a lot of my, my stuff that I was doing for the warm-ups. That was more from bel canto or classical, right? But now here we are in the jazz idiom. Is there anything that we can use from bel canto in jazz? Absolutely. So the idea of resonance, we can use that to make ourselves sound more like an instrument. So all of me wanna take all, and I'm going to that mm, place. Mm, all of me, can you say I'm no good without you? You know, so if you wanna make yourself sound more like an instrument, you can use these things that we've been doing, right? So let's say for me, in my voice, if I wanted to do it a little bit more like a trumpet, I need to sing it higher just for my voice. So, so just as an example. All of me wanna Take my lips. I want to lose. So, right? So, just using that resonance capacity as a way to become an instrument. And that's, you know, jazz is so much about um, the voice becoming instrument, the instrument becoming voice, and that, that nonstop continuum. Um, all right. So, that's just a little tid, tidbit that you can use. Now, let's go back to our key. All of me. All right, here we go. One, two, we're taking it from the top. All of me. Why not take all, all of me? me? Oh, can't you see? Can't you see? I'm no good without you. Take my lips. I want to lose. Them. Take my arms, I'll never use them. Your goodbye Woo! left me with thugs and crying. How can I get along get without you? You took the part that once was my heart. heart. Oh, why not take all of me? me? Awesome. So as you think about whether or not you want to sing a little bit of this or a solo, I just love the words of this song. They're so playful. But I also love how the singer, the person you know who is singing the words, they have an understanding of the beauty that they hold. And they're like, why wouldn't you want all of this beauty, right? Just that recognition that I am beautiful. I was created good, right? So I think this is a great moment for us to all just breathe that in. Like we were created beautiful and good. Yeah. Okay, so now let's play with it. Who wants to give us a little taste? I'm, I'm looking, I'll be listening. Julie Maya Panda? No, okay. Um, well, we know Amber, like, Amber should just be like, you know, a done deal. <laughs> Would you like to sing a little Amber? Oh, let me, um, let me unmute you. I don't know the song i've just learned it right now with you so i have my own slight melodic tweaks but i could try let's take those melodic tweaks <laughs> <laughs> all right so um was that key good for you sure all right all of me why not take all of me can't you see i'm no good without you Take my lips, I want to lose them. 
take my arms, I'll never use them. Your goodbye left me with eyes that cry. How, uh, how can I get along without you? You took the part that once was my heart. So why not, why not take all of me? Yes! <laughs> I love it. That was great. And thank you for just jumping out there. And you need to pray with like the little spot of cakes. Anybody else? Um, Holly, are, are you saying something? Oh, uh, sorry. No, I was talking to my daughter. Apologies. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so how about we sing through this one more time? So this is going to be like beautiful cacophony, okay? Because I'm going to unmute. <laughs> I, I heard somebody say Sharina. Somebody wants to hear Sharina. Is that a go? Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. You can close us out. Uh oh, hold on, hold on. You gotta mute it. I mean, mute it. Let's see. We can't hear you. Hold on. Let's see. I get there we go. <laughs> Only because I'm just filled with so much love, I'll give it a try. Because I am not a vocalist. That's okay. <laughs> okay, get me started, teacher. All right. All of me. Why not take all of me? Can't you see? I'm no good without you. Take my lips. I want to lose them. Take my arms. I'll never use them. Your goodbye left me with eyes that cry. How can I get along without you? You took the part, help me teacher. That you took the part that once was my heart. So why not take all of me? Okay. <laughs>